Good morning, I'm JJ Friggy, president of Hartzell Propeller in Piqua, Ohio, Propeller Town, USA. We have been investing for the past six, eight years in our backcountry portfolio of propeller products. We've worked uh, on the metal side as well as the composite side with our technology. And, and really the point is that we're an engineering company, but we also have a lot of pilots and we're really interested and we really are passionate about flying. And so we've tried to design and, and listen to the community and design products that, that really meet their mission profiles. So for the backcountry, uh, we have the Trailblazer, which has been in the market for, again, about six, seven years now. And it's really just a, a world-class prop on the composite carbon fiber side that is, is good for a, a variety of missions, but really it's a climb and takeoff prop. And, and so that's been a really nice winner for us. It's, it's available on a really large variety of backcountry aircraft uh, from the Aviat Husky to the you know to uh, Cub Crafters uh, airplanes to the Legend aircraft um, you know and a whole bunch of others so it's it's been a great product and now we've partnered that with a metal three blade we call the Voyager which is available on the Cessna 180 to all the way up to 206 series and it's just uh, an all-around performer as well it's takeoff climb and cruise so we have you know a, a lot of pilots at our company 20 25 pilots that Several of them, many of them do fly in the backcountry. So we listen to them. We listen to our friends in the backcountry community on what's important, and then we go design it. And so for, for us, again, a lot of the backcountry is focused on takeoff and climb, uh, but certainly we care about speed and, and top end performance as well. So we're looking for that combination because physics doesn't change, but uh, we've been able to adapt our portfolio and kind of tweak some, some tried and true designs to really target the backcountry. And then we partner that with going out and, and, and doing flight testing before we certify to kind of back up our analytics to make sure that, that we've got a performer and a winner. And then we, and then we go through the certification process. Sure. You know, the experimental side is, is very similar to the backcountry. We have quite a few pilots that fly RVs and some other home built self-designed airplanes. And so we're, we're looking to see, you know, now as we've established a, a, a pretty strong portfolio in the backcountry market, what additional products we can bring to the experimental uh, kit plane market. Uh, we've, we've, we have our blended airfoil that, that's been in market for quite some time with Vans. It's been a really strong performer, but we're really starting to develop some composite options, looking at the Explorer, which is a three blade carbon fiber prop that's just launched in the last year and a half, and as well as some other composite options that, that are currently in testing and, and in design. Really the paradigm shift on the Explorer is all around speed, right? And so typically, based on the engine and the airframe, we, we, would, we would say fewer blades will make you go faster because once you get to altitude, you don't need as many blades to generate thrust. They become more of a, 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 a drag, right? Uh, but with the Explorer, the way the airfoil is designed, it's, it's a thinner airfoil, uh, both from a, a cord and a, an overall thickness standpoint. And we're able to produce better thrust even at altitude. So it gets off the, the ground faster, it climbs faster, and it's a really nice performer on speed. So it, again, it starts with that engineering process, which we go through analytics, we go through iterations of blade design, then we go make the blades, we go put it in a, in a, in a test, and we see how it performs, and then we go through the certification process. Even though, clearly the experimental market doesn't need to be certified, everything we do from a design and production standpoint is certification worthy. So every blade that we put in a prop, whether it's on an experimental or a certified, goes through our cert process where we fatigue it. In the composite world, we lightning strike it, we bird strike it, simulated bird strike. And, and we go through that whole certification process with each and every design that we put in market. That's really important to us. It's something that sets us apart because uh, we, we want to make sure that we're providing you know, quality, value, and performance to the market. You know, it's great to be at Sun and Fun 2022. We're, we're back in full force. We've got a whole contingent of Hartzell folks here from the tech support side to help answer questions and partner you up with the right product, all the way through our specialized propeller sales and OEM sales team and our engineers that are here to answer your questions and, and talk with our customers. So it's great to be here. Uh, we, would, we would love to see you stop by our booth in, in Hangar B. We just had Michael Goulian sign in autographs. It's going to be a fun and busy week. We look forward to seeing you at Sun and Fun 2022.